Hey guys, it's Music by Lucas. So for anyone who has wanted to join the producers team, now is the time to do it. We have a free trial going on right now until June 1st. So you can join, we have five brand new memberships, free t-shirts for elite members, private consulting, and possible collaboration. So make sure to DM me on Instagram. I will be checking my messages all day today so you can hit me up there and we can talk all about it. And if you've been looking to get a logo or a graphic or mastering, we still have 17% off on everything for the whole month of May on teammbl.com. All right guys, so we're gonna try something new. I wanna know what other amazing videos you guys wanna see. I'm gonna put a couple different options in this poll for you guys to choose from and let me know because I love your feedback. All right guys, so let's get to it. You voted and this week's amazing artist is going to be Blaster Jax. What? Blaster. What? Jax. Blaster. What? What? Jax. What? So let's get to three things that make Blaster Jax so amazing. <laughs> The first reason why Blaster Jacks is so amazing is because they make music that DJs want to play. The reason why DJs want to play Blaster Jacks music is because it is created scientifically to make crowds want to move. Now what I mean by this is that they make tracks with the thought in mind that crowds are going to want to move to them and they also make tracks that they know they're going to be very easy for DJs to be able to mix in and out of other tracks. For example, they definitely bring in high powered heavy hitting drops and then they bring in those awesome breaks that make the whole crowd start getting excited and anticipate the next drop to come. Which is perfect for festival music and that's why they've been so successful over the years and been able to pump out hit after hit. And this is why it is so important to go back to the basics when you're making music. When you're talking about making these kind of tracks that people are going to want to move to, you really have to work on the foundation of your tracks and you have to make your music in a way that it's going to be easily understood by the most average listener. Like your own mom should know where the drop is. Your own dad should know where the break in the build is. It has to be that easy for people to be able to digest because when you are a no name, when people don't know who you are and you're trying to submit your music to labels, they have to be able to immediately identify who you are and what they're listening to right away. And Blaster Jacks did just that, which is why people like Layback Luke picked them up right away, why Tiesto wanted to pick them up, and why they've been able to collab with some of the biggest artists in the world over and over again. Basically, they're killing it. Gerald's killing it! The second reason why Blaster Jacks is so amazing is because sometimes two is better than one. So Blaster Jacks has two DJs. So Blaster Jacks was actually formed in 2010 when Tom partnered with another member who eventually left and then he had actually reformed the group in 2012 when he finally got in touch with Adir. Tom and Adir equals Blaster Jacks. They really started to make it after they started producing tracks that eventually got picked up by Laidback Luke who signed him to his label and then they moved on and got picked up by Tiesto after that. One of the things that really helped them was working together. What they talked about was that when you only have one person in a group, what can happen is that you don't properly get the same feedback as you would when you have two people. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go form a duo right away, but what I am saying is that you really cannot get the complete picture of your own track if you're the only one that listens to it. Sometimes you're gonna to get to that point where you're thinking, how do I know when this track is done? It's, you know, 75% done, 90% done, is it finished? This is when it's extremely helpful to get someone else's opinion on your track. And Blaster Jacks actually says that if you don't get anyone else's feedback, that your track at the most will always only be 90% done. Also performing with another person can help you bring energy to your sets. If you're feeling down that day, the other person can try to bring you up. So you have more good vibes all around. And this is also why it's so important to collab because you can bring two different lifestyles, two different backgrounds, two different environments into each other and see how they collaborate. And what ends up happening is you come up with different types of ideas, which you may not have thought of on your own. And this is what happens with Blaster Jacks. They're able to have ideas, bounce them off of each other, work together in the studio, and it really helps them create hit after hit. So go out there and find someone to collab with, find somebody to get feedback from, or even find someone to start a duo with because I do think that two people, three people, an entire team, is better than you just alone in your room trying to figure out what to do all by yourself. The third reason why Blaster Jacks is so amazing is because they follow the basic rules, but then they have fun. All they really do is make sure that the track is about 128 BPM and that is it. Then they experiment, then they have fun and do what feels right. Now, of course, the reason why they keep their tracks around 128 BPM is because that is the average BPM that almost every single DJ mixes tracks in and out of when they're playing live. So they know if they make tracks around that tempo that DJs are gonna wanna play their tracks. So after they check mark that rule off their list, they're able to have fun. 
And what I mean by that is they're able to experiment because one of the most important things to Blaster Jacks, especially when they were just starting out, was to develop their own sound. And Blaster Jacks continues to try to make their big room sound more and more original each time and they're always trying to make something cutting edge. Their number one advice for artists, which you've probably heard a million times, is to try to make something new, something fresh, something that's unique, that's yours. Now that can be one of the most frustrating things to hear because to most people, it just really doesn't make sense. You know, make something that's the best thing in the world, that's all original, that is totally new and fresh, is just gonna make you sit in front of your laptop and try to figure out what the heck you're supposed to do next. And what typically happens is that you just start watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. And really what I wanna tell you is that you should only be watching tutorials when you need answers for a specific thing that you're working on. What you wanna do is just get into the studio and start actually having fun while you're making music. And if you run into a wall for some reason, you're saying, hey, I can't figure out this reverb, I can't figure out this mix, or I don't really know how to make this master sound great, that is when you wanna go onto YouTube and start watching tutorials to learn more. Because what happens is if you just watch a million tutorials back to back, you just kind of start getting flooded with so much information that you don't know what to do next and you're still stuck in that same spot that you were in the beginning where you're sitting in front of your laptop trying to reinvent the wheel. And that can be really, really hard and frustrating. So what I'm telling you is next time you're making a track, just try to have fun. Put the tempo in that spot, maybe add a kick that you're used to and just start writing some melodies. Just start throwing things together and see what you come up with and throw it back and forth to other people. Try to see what they think of it what they think you should do next, and just be open to feedback, be open to criticism, and be open to experiencing music the way that it's supposed to be experienced. It's an art form, so have fun with it. And I'm pretty sure I just went on a rant, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that because it is important, and I hope you learned a lot uh, about Blaster Jacks today and their process, and I hope that it helps you. All right. All right, guys, that's it for Blaster Jacks, and we have another feedback video coming tomorrow, so make sure you check back to see if your track was chosen. And this is the part of the video where I talk about my producer's team. I love doing this because the producer's team is dope and you guys are awesome. I spoke with Oxa today on Skype. He is from Florida. He was great. We were talking all about how to develop his own sound. Uh, John Hage is another one of our members and he is actually creating a mega mix each week that he's going to do for other members of the team. So he's excited. He's going to be pulling everyone together. I love when we work together. So like I said earlier, if you want to join, now is the time. What are you waiting for? Let's do this. Let's have some fun. Let's make this summer awesome. We'll leave a link right here. All right, guys. I'm Isabel Lucas. This is Kingsley. We'll see you later. Destiny, destiny.